This week, a new poll by Angus Reid shows that support for capital punishment in Canada is growing. It's 63 percent. Joining us now from Winnipeg is Tom Broadback from the Winnipeg Sun and one of Canada's best crime reporters. Tom, what do you think is causing support for uh, capital punishment to tick up? Do you think it's some uh, horrific news stories like Luca Magnata that, that people are thinking about when they're asked the question? Well, it doesn't surprise me that much. And there was a similar poll a year ago by Angus Reid that came out with uh, pretty much the same numbers. And I think it debunks the myth that some try to perpetuate that, you know, we as Canadians are kinder, kinder and gentler, more compassionate, more civilized people, and we don't subscribe to this barbaric uh, notion of capital punishment when you've got close to two-thirds of Canadians who say that uh, they're in favor of reinstating capital punishment, and right across the country at various levels, granted uh, highest in, here in Manitoba and Saskatchewan at about 75% and uh, lower in B.C. and Quebec. But, um, you know, it's, it's still a majority. It's, it's a, quite a significant majority of Canadians that support it. So, I mean, it doesn't jibe with, you know, this notion that, you know, well, Canadians are, you know, we're, we're above that. We're, we're, uh, we're more evolved than, than some of these other countries that still have it. You know, it's a great point. I think there's a disconnect between the elite uh, opinion shapers in the parliamentary press gallery and severely normal people. I see this on a few issues. Oh, uh, I bet if we were to survey the members of the parliamentary press gallery, I bet those numbers would be flipped around. I bet you 63 percent would be against capital punishment. Is it what you mentioned there, sort of a, oh, it's classy to be against the capital punishment. Uh, uh, only real thugs or grubby people uh, mm -hmm. would want to be so brutal. Like, what, what do you think it is that makes fancy people oppose the death penalty? I don't know. I mean, it's political fashion, isn't it, to think that, well, I'm, I'm above that. I'm above the, the knuckle-dragging fray. I, you know, we're, you know I'm, more, I'm a more civilized politician or opinion uh, maker than that, and, and some, somehow I feel better about myself that, I'm, you know, that, we're, that we're better human beings, that we don't subscribe to that. You know, when, in fact, you're, you're offside with the majority of Canadians who do feel that when people... Uh, kill other human beings, that uh, they should face that kind of a consequence. Mm -hmm. Tom, I want to show you some more numbers from the poll because it's very interesting. This is the reasons that some people are against the death penalty. There are some valid uh, arguments. I mean, there is a chance someone could be wrongfully convicted. That's by far the number one reason people give. What if you make a mistake? Uh, other people say, well, it's just wrong to take a murderer's life. 53% of people who are opposed to it cite that as a reason. Some people uh, bizarrely say it is no deterrent for murderers. Uh, that might be true in some crimes of passion. And finally, some people just say, well, they should serve their time in prison. Let me just show you the other stats for people who, the reasons people give who support the death penalty. We've got a chart for those as well. The number one reason is deterrent, save on prison costs. I don't think that's the best reason. Penalty fits the crime, closure for the victim's family. And of course, my reason would be, well, Justice. Tom, do you think that there's any chance politically that this silent or ignored majority of Canadians will ever see the law of capital punishment returned? Or is that, is that something that will legally never go back to? I, I don't think there's a, uh, any chance that it'll ever come back because politicians in Canada um, don't want to make bold policy. Uh, they, they practice what I call risk aversion politics. They, they, they want to make uh, incremental steps. They don't want to rock the boat. Um, so they would never bring something like this back. They, politicians in Canada today take baby steps in various directions depending on their political orientation. And there isn't a single politician in this country that would advance it right now, even though they know from polls like this that the majority of Canadians uh, would actually support it. Mm. You know, uh, I, I think of the argument Jason Kenney uses for cracking down on immigration fraud. He says this. He says, if you want to maintain support for very high immigration levels, which Canada has, you've got to be really tough on people who abuse the rules. You get the liberal side if you get the tough side. And I think that could be the winning argument here. Uh, if someone said, well, if you want to have a country that does not have capital punishment, if you want to be liberal that way, fine. But then we've really got to get tough on those murderers once we convict them. No easy parole, no gentle prison. So what Jason is saying is there's a carrot and stick that goes together. I don't think we really have that in crime. We don't have the capital punishment. But I, I think that maybe for all but for the absolute worst killers, it's still fairly gentle justice in Canada, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And because when you talk about murder, you're talking about uh, different um, classifications in the court. You have first degree murder, which has to be planned and deliberate. You have second degree murder, 
uh, which is only deliberate, and that carries, you can be out in 10 years, you're eligible for parole in 10 years, and you have manslaughter. And we, we constantly hear of cases where one human being kills another. Uh, it's obviously a deliberate, there was drugs involved or whatever, and they get a manslaughter uh, conviction, which has no mandatory minimum. Hmm. Uh, and they could be out in a few years, and I think those are the, those are the examples that, that you're referring to, Ezra. Tom, it's great to talk with you. I bet this story will be a perennial one. It's good to, to have your viewpoint on. Take care, my friend. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.